Are you having trouble getting your prospects to take action and convert? Let's talk about that. Hey, this is Terrence Pennington from PenningtonTips.com and I'm coming to you from Dallas, Texas and I'm happy to be with you today. I was reading a post by Andrew Jordan, who's the director of content here at Elite Marketing Pro. He was talking about how to make your prospects take action. It's interesting how quickly the brain forms a first impression. There was a study done at Princeton University where participants crystallized a lasting judgment about the attractiveness, competence, and aggressiveness of a complete stranger in just one tenth of a second, which goes to show how quickly the brain makes snap decisions. He went on to say that the same is true for advertising that catches our eye and makes us want to click on that link. So if you want to catch the attention of your prospects, you've got to make a strong impression quickly. In the Facebook feed, there's a lot out there competing for the attention of your audience. So how do we rise above the competition and get the attention of our audience, create that, imp that important first impression Touch the deep-seated desires of your audience and motivate them to click on that link. Andrew says you simply need to employ the appropriate psychological triggers in your marketing so you don't sound like a sleazy sales pitch. I'm going to outline three triggers that will help you to dramatically improve the return on investment on your advertising. This applies to your ads, your content, or your emails, and this will ensure a more effective approach of building your list and getting opt-ins for your funnels. The first one is proof. In other words, show, don't tell. Prospects have an endless slew of options, and as far as they are concerned, you're just another pretty or handsome face in the crowd. So if you want your products and services to be deemed worthy of their time, energy, and consideration, you have got to prove yourself. It could be social proof in the form of satisfied customers and word of mouth or hard matrix of data. You can leverage reviews and testimonials, present matrix and data which shows customers that you can, for example, reduce their budgets by 50% or increase their traffic by 90%. You can provide case studies uh, demonstrating how your offering really benefits them. In my post for today, there's a link to another post entitled, Seven Surefire Ways to Overcome Your Prospect Skepticism, which dives deep into using the power of proof in your marketing. Check it out. The second trigger is re relatability. Just be yourself. Remember, there is only one you. Your customers want authenticity. They want to relate to you. So the more your prospects see themselves in your shoes, the more likely you are to engage your audience and create loyal fans. The third trigger is scarcity. This one is pretty simple and straightforward, but it holds true that people seem to be more motivated by the thought of losing something than by the thought of gaining something of equal value. Fear one is one of the most, if not the most, powerful motivators. Now, you shouldn't be a fear monger, but scarcity does represent the concept that potential customers may lose out if they don't act sooner rather than later. So scarcity is key to ensuring that your audience acts now versus sleeping on what you have to offer. Putting these triggers into action might seem a little daunting at first, but if we don't overcomplicate it, it'll work. All you have to do is, number one, prove your claims, number two, be relatable, and number three, employ a little scarcity. I go into a lot of detail in the blog post associated with this video, so if anything I've shared today makes sense to you and you want to find out more, feel free to study the content in the blog post and begin to implement those triggers in your advertising today. If you'd like to learn more about how we're making a difference with attraction marketing here at EMP, Leave a comment for me below and I'll contact you and I'll set a time that we can talk. Did this help? If so, please do me a favor and leave a comment below and share this article on social media. This is Terrence Pennington at PenningtonTips.com. Until the next time, you make it a great day.